a friend said, you should do a search on Google for um, teardrop trailers. And I, I, had, I wasn't aware of them. And as soon as I saw them, I thought, oh, that's, that's like a piece of furniture. It's something small that I think I could accomplish with my woodworking skills. And I knew that I was going to have to start a business. I, could, I was going to have to buy myself a job because what I was doing for my brother-in-law wasn't cutting it. So I decided to make teardrops. But, well, first of all, about teardrops, they're small, they're cute, they're shiny. They kind of have this come hither feel about them. You know, we're, we're, humans are like raccoons or ravens. We like to take shiny things back to our den. And, and uh, so and while, I was, while I was in Wyoming, I bought this, what, what I should have bought, uh, a silver streak, uh, should have been about $2,000 I bought for 8000 brought it home gutted it, and now it's sitting in my backyard, completely gutted, but, uh, but in the meantime, I found, I discovered teardrops. Now the problem with teardrops is that um, you get inside them, they're very claustrophobic. And um, that was just a big disappointment to me. A lot of people are now making, or in the past, uh, in, in the 30s and 40s, uh, would make these trailers and try to, um, solve that uh, claustrophobic problem by, by making slide outs or you crank it open or you inflate it. Um, and I didn't want to do that. I, I thought, I felt more like this is like a sailboat. A small sailboat has to have everything you need um, and you can't inflate it, you can't unfold it, you can't crank it out or slide it out. It has to be everything that you need um, right there, and that's what I wanted the teardrop to be. One of the problems with teardrops as far as making an aesthetic uh, statement is that you have to work within certain parameters, and that's usually a 4x8 sheet of plywood. <laughs> and uh, some people will opt for um, designing as much space into it as, as they can, and some, a more boxy type shape, and some people will want more, a more streamlined uh, shape and then you lose you lose your storage, but you gain some aesthetics. If I turned around and looked towards the front of the trailer, well, I've, you've already, if we can go back one, go back another one. You've already got headroom in the middle of these trailers. And I thought, well, I, I'll just put a couch here and I'll put a big window in. Um, and so what that did was it allowed the front of the trailer to, be, to kind of fall uh, nicely and become more aerodynamic. And, uh, and then the window became not only uh, it gave you a gaze to the horizon, but when you laid down, a, a full view of the night sky. And, and then I just thought that, that's, that's what I'd want if I were to go on a trailer. I'd want to have a, a good view of the outside. Also, the, the doors are um, in, the, in the vestibule are designed to be wide so that you can sit half in, half out, and not, you're not just sitting um, in this little doorway or, or passing through. It's, a, it's not just a passage to come in or go out. So we started making them, and it just seems like we hit a chord. People seem to call and understand, like, you know, I'm interested in your trailers. I see what you're doing. I know what you're doing. You know, it, it, you know well, what are we doing? Well, that front window is like, you know, none of, none of the other trailers have that. I've got, to, I've got to have that. And the sofa bed, of course, I, I was a, in my woodworking years, I, I made a lot of futon frames. And the things that, you know, couches that turn into beds or cots that turn into chairs. And, and so when I was making this, I thought, I, I got to put a futon in there. Why can't I have a, a couch that folds into a bed? which made the whole uh, sitting in a comfortable position and looking out the window kind of, it, it kind of made the trailer, I think. So people couldn't, can't find that in, in a typical teardrop. Part of this business is the people who buy them and where they take them. And it, it's, it seems like there's a lot of layers of meaning involved in, 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 a, vista, in a small trailer in, in um, RVing, although vestibule is not really RVing. Uh, RVing is a social kind of gathering type of thing. People go to RV parks. 
vestibule or teardroppers, they go on an adventure. And it's usually a couple shoulder to shoulder intimate travels. And they, um, they go to where they used to go when they would camp, when they'd set up their tent. Um, but they can go at a moment's notice. They don't have to clean the bathroom or, uh, or prep the trailer uh, in, in any way. They don't have to crank it up when they get to their destination or unfold it. It's just always kind of ready to go. And uh, it has the essentials that you need to be comfortable when you, um, when you visit another planet. You know, when you go down to the surface in your Galileo uh, space shuttle, you pretty much have everything you need to, to kind of look around, ex you know, explore. Um, and it has very little impact on the, on the Earth. So uh, you, you can tow it with a smaller car. You don't have to get a big pickup or SUV. Uh, very, uh, it, it helps reduce your carbon footprint.